very first session um, of our Enterprise Lunch and Learn series. I'm going to share my screen here really quickly. Um, we're really excited to have everybody here. Uh, again, my name is Kat. I'm an Enterprise Customer Success Manager with JotForm. And today we're going to be talking about how you as an enterprise user can white label your server to give your users and respondents the most on-brand user experience possible. I'm going to jump into the content here shortly, but we'll also make sure to reserve uh, some time towards the end for our questions. And if we don't get to all the questions, you can always reach out to our enterprise sales team or to our awesome customer support team if you are already an enterprise user. So let's first, we'll talk briefly about what it means to white label your server. With JotFarm Enterprise, you can choose to customize your server or to remove um, or sorry, to remove any trace of JotForm branding. So not only when your users log into your server or when your form respondents submit their forms, you can ensure that the entire process follows your current brand standards and identity guidelines. Uh, so not only does white labeling your server convey authenticity and credibility to your users and respondents, but customizing your server, forms, and form elements within JotForm Enterprise doesn't require coding and it is straightforward and super easily accomplished. So I'm going to show you how. All right, let's share my other screen here. Okay, so with this, you should be able to see JotForm in the top left-hand corner here. This is our admin console view on one of our demo servers. So we will, of course, have the JotForm branding on, but I'm going to dive in and show you exactly how you would remove that and replace it with your own branding. All right. So as I am a server admin on our demo server, I have access and control over the look of the server itself. So when we open up the admin console, I'm in settings now, but we would be in the dashboard tab. We're going to want to start our white labeling journey within the settings tab here. You can see here under general settings, this is where uh, many of our branding elements live. Um, so you can set the default logo. Um, you can even choose the favicon here that you can see is in each of my tabs that I have already open within our server. Um, you can set the color theme of your server and of course enter in your company name. And this is where you would set the custom domain address. Again, because this is a JotForm demo server, uh, we have the domain address that you see here, but you can set up a custom domain to remove any trace of JotForm branding on your server, form, apps, and more. Uh, within the settings tab, if we scroll down, you'll see that we have other settings like enabling single sign-on or SSO, IP address restrictions, and other settings, but we're going to cover that in a future Lunch and Learn. So just to recap, the settings tab on your admin console as we access it as a server admin is going to live here. But let's navigate out of the uh, admin console now to our form builder. All right, so we can go through just exactly how you can ensure how your forms are customized to your brand specifications while respondents are navigating for, through the form, submitting it, and also when they receive their submission information via emails, which you may have saw when I pulled it up there. I already have this form built here just for the purposes of this example. I have some added elements um, like our PDF embedder widget, uh, which I've embedded a static example, branded PDF onto my form for my respondents to review prior to submissions. And then we also even have basic uh, form elements like say our paragraph field. I'm just going to drag and drop that in there. We're going to click to edit the text. And then if we go in, we can customize this even using the source code here. So you can really, really get down and customize it the way that you'd like within certain uh, elements on the form. You can also see here that I have customized the form uh, using a theme and other elements within our form designer. So to get to our form designer, we're going to click on this icon here. And within here, you'll see that we can add our brand specific color schemes, fonts, um, images, button styles, and more. Uh, for example, if we go into styles here, you can even inject custom CSS into your form to make it look exactly the way that you want it. With custom CSS, you can isolate specific fields and um, make them look exactly the way that you'd like them to. We even have our advanced designer. If we scroll down within this uh, style here, 
excuse me, uh, which is accessible here. It just helps when you're wanting to create custom CSS for your form um, or as a job from enterprise customer, of course, you have uh, that request to live help for creating and testing your custom CSS if you choose to do so. You can also uh, set a theme here. We have featured themes or another theme library, or let's say that you've created this form that you want to be the template for all of your other forms because you've made it exactly as per your brand identity and branding requirements. And you'd like to ensure that any other form created within your server adheres to the theme and layout of this form. As an enterprise customer, you can save this form as a theme, and then you can share that just with your company so that only the other users within your server can access and utilize your brand specific theme. All right, let's preview the form here or let's just view the form. So this is what the form will look like to those who are responding to it when they get the link. Uh, please keep in mind that the domain, of course, uh, will be the custom domain that you set up with Enterprise. Um, and then also additionally, I did want to mention that we do have several embed functionalities uh, that can allow you to embed your branded form into your website to seamlessly integrate with your company identity. All right, so we're gonna move on to sign. Jot form sign here. So I do already have a sign document pulled up just to keep in mind that forms aren't the only asset that you can customize and ensure are white labeled and on brand within your server. Uh, Jot form sign, which we are in here now, uh, which allows you to automate and collect legally binding e signatures. It's a really easy way to build out a branded document that you can then send out to your form respondents or other recipients for initials, signature, um, dates. Anything like that, as you can see within our different fields here, all complete uh, with a signatory audit trail that you can send to yourself and to the recipient if you choose. So in this example here, I've just created a really simple branded job form document that I will be sending out to another signatory. You can see here signer one and then signer two is me. And then I can customize this to ensure that it meets company standards, especially if you do have letterhead uh, that is already existing within a PDF that you would like to ensure is in with, within each signed document, especially when you're going to be collecting legally binding e-signatures. Uh, briefly, again, I just did want to uh, highlight another asset that you can do, which is our app builder. You could create a custom app with JotForm apps. Uh, I've created just a really simple app here for the purposes of this example, of course. Those, so you can see here that those who visit the app are only able to see the brand that I've designated. And then just like the form builder, the elements are drag and drop since JotForm apps is a completely no code app builder where you can install pre-made color schemes. Uh, you can see here, we do have the designer uh, icon there that we can click. You can add your logo as the app icon, update the fonts, the splash screen, anything to match your branding. And then also as an enterprise user, you have the opportunity to have this available in the app store under your own branding. All right, so let's just head back into the form builder after we've gone through sign and apps. We're gonna head back in here and I'm gonna click into settings and emails. So you can see here uh, that I have a couple of different emails setting up, set up here. The notification email goes to myself as the form owner or form creator, and then any other uh, designated recipients that I have just to notify us that we do have a submission on that form. And then the autoresponder does go out to those who have submitted your form. So this is a really great way to continue brand recognition and white labeling even after your respondents hit submit. All right, so I'm gonna click into the autoresponder email, but please keep in mind that most of what we do within the autoresponder email can also be extrapolated and applied to the uh, notification email. When we click into it here, uh, you'll be able to fully customize within the email tab, the content within the body of the email itself. Again, even down to the source code, if you would like, uh, you can add in images, logos, change the font to match your branding standards with these emails as well. You can even add a custom message to your uh, recipients alongside any submission data, as you can see with the form fields here that you'd like to include within the body of the email itself. And you can also, of course, change the email subject there. 
Uh, we'll couple this customization alongside the ability to customize your sender name within the recipients tab here. You can see that I've just put it as custom sender for this example. And then within the advanced tab here, you can also, if we scroll down, you can enable SMTP. So SMTP or simple mail transfer protocol uh, is in regards to white labeling refers specifically to the process of cu just customizing the email sen sending settings to reflect your own branding rather than the default email of no reply at formresponse.com here. Um, in the case of Jotform Enterprise, SMTP white labeling is important for branding reasons. Uh, it allows you to customize the email sender name, as we saw, and the email address, as you can see here, to reflect your own brand. This ensures that your customers receive emails that appear to be coming directly from you and your organization rather than from, say, Jotform or another third-party provider like formresponse.com. Overall, SMTP white labeling is important for Jotform Enterprise customers, especially if you want to maintain control over your email branding and improve the deliverability of your emails. By customizing this email sending setting in particular, excuse me, <clears throat> Uh, your enterprise customers can ensure that their emails are delivered successfully and that they are able to maintain a strong brand presence in their communications with customers even after that customer has hit submit. All right, if I scroll up, you might see that I have this PDF attachment toggled on here. Uh, and selected, I've selected a very particular PDF for this autoresponder email that I specifically want to go out only to my form respondents. So I do have my PDF editor uh, toggled up here. These are the two different PDFs that I've created. Um, within the PDF editor, we can create and customize different PDFs to ensure that our respondents are getting not only the proper submission and uh, data and other information there, but our PDFs are on brand and authentic. Um, I have our PDF editor queued up here, as I mentioned, uh, with these couple of PDFs that I prepared where I've customized the PDFs with the logo, colors, uh, fonts, submission data, and other elements here. You can see that I've added in a couple of our basic elements, but also our form fields uh, into Steve Rogers' um, submission here. Um, and I've even set it within the PDF settings. So we have the PDF designer here that I was clicked into and the PDF settings. I've even set it so that within the external PDF, it has the uh, parts of the form fields that I would like them to see. But within, say, the internal PDF, if I have a set naming convention or filing convention uh, that we, we already have established within our company, I can set it so that when the PDF is downloaded, I can see exactly which uh, part of the form is included in the name and then just make sure that it matches to any kind of um, naming con file naming conventions that I have. I've also customized the PDF with, say, this is what we like for our internal files, and this is what we like with externally facing colors. Um, our PDF editor has those drag and drop functionality as well, as you can see here. So we can just drag and drop whatever we'd like um, into the PDF editor. So we have control over each part of what the PDF looks like, even down to the page layout and the letter size here, as we can see. This is the one that is external. So this is the colors that I've chosen for uh, our externally facing colors. You can also see that I have a custom um, message out to the uh, test recipient within this case. And then of course the internal one here, we have the date and then anything else. You can see I don't have a custom uh, message within there because we just need the uh, submission details internally as we go. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's do a really quick recap. Um, I know that's a lot of information in a very short period of time when it comes to white labeling, but we just want to uh, go through, again, through our white labeling, white labeling functionalities, with, whether it's within the admin console, the form builder, job form sign, job form apps, the PDF editor, you can seamlessly integrate your brand identity into your server with not only how the server looks, as we've done in settings, but how your users interact with the servers as you do have control over your different user types, um, the custom domain, but also in the look and feel of your forms, as we saw within the form builder here, sign documents, as we saw within the sign document here, 
apps, and then more, of course, to ensure that the entire user and respondent experience is within your company and brand standards. As we saw again, if we click into settings, emails, and then we go into either the autoresponder or the notification, advanced, we can go in and we can customize and add in our own SMTP server to ensure email deliverability and authenticity. And then of course, to, to uh, finalize our time together here, just going over that we can create those customized PDF attachments to match your branding as well, all through JobForm Enterprise. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending your time uh, with me today on our very first Lunch and Learn. I look forward to the rest of the series and I'm happy to open the floor to answer any questions that you might have in regards to white labeling. Um, you can just pop those into the Q&A there. Okay, great. I see a couple of questions coming in already. So can we have multiple domains on our server? Yes, you can. Uh, this is an additional service that will require domain registration, of course, and a CNAME redirect set up for the forms. Uh, but please, if you are already an enterprise customer, you can chat more with your uh, JotForm Enterprise business, business Development Manager or BDM about what the process and cost for the additional subdomains are. But if you're looking into JotForm Enterprise and that's a question that you have, please feel free when you contact us to uh, Add that in there and we'll get back to you with what the processing extra cost for that would be. All right. Can any server user white label our server? Uh, so no, only uh, server admins can change the white labeling on your server, uh, but we do recommend having multiple server admins, but those who are set as users instead of admins would not have access to the admin console. So if we take a look at the admin console here and our users, we can go into the users tab and we can set in the different um, user, user types there uh, and have full control over that. All right. Okay, I see a couple more here. Okay, can I create custom form URLs? Um, yes, you can, but keep in mind that the URL of your form will be evergreen in regards to the domain portion of it. But you do have the ability to set custom trailing URLs after the domain element on a per form basis. So it would be your domain, and then it would be slash the username or the team, and then it would be uh, whatever custom URL that you'd like to set uh, towards the trailing element there. Okay, I see one here. Um, okay, all right, Teresa, if you, uh, I see that you are, I'm assuming that you're a, a, a current enterprise user with us. Um, that's awesome, okay, great. If you um, are able to, if you could submit a ticket with our frontline support or contact your BDM and we'd be happy to help you uh, with that. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Teresa. All right. Well, thank you again, everybody, for being here with me today. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our enterprise sales team or to our awesome customer support team if you're already an enterprise user. I so look forward to our next uh, JotForm Enterprise Lunch and Learn. Have a lovely day.